Hi. Welcome to the October 2008 version of Confluency Solutions newsletter, XC Fluent. I think you'll find this edition kind of interesting. The first article we talk a little bit about uh, what I would say is uh, connecting with customers, connecting with prospective customers today. Back in the day, and let's just say back in the day it was 1688, if you wanted to connect with customers and prospects, you probably wandered down to Edward Lloyd's Coffee House because that's where customers and prospective insurance customers were. In the 20th century, you may have trolled the airwaves, both radio and TV, and you probably licked a, your share of postage stamps and envelopes in order to connect with your customers. Today, things have moved on, and particularly with that most elusive market segment, Generation Y, you really need to be using the same services that that customer segment, that prospective customer segment is using. And those are tools like YouTube, MySpace, Facebook, and of course the blogs. Those collectively are, are sometimes referred to as Web 2.0 services. We have a lot of good information, really easy to use information in the first article uh, about connecting with that customer segment. The second article I would say focuses on something um, I guess I'd call the magic question. If there were such a thing as a magic question, something that will separate high gain from uh, high gain prospects from high pain prospects not paying but pain is in P A I N you probably would ask that question and it turns out there is such a question uh, our guest columnist in the second article Ken Kramers from Agency Resource Group makes use of a survey I think we've probably all heard of by now the, the 2008 JD Power Auto uh, insurance survey and uh, really kind of pulls out some insights that I, I think a lot of people have missed so you want to definitely check that out. And the third article is for those of you who have cut back or who may be thinking about cutting back on some personal contacts with your customers because of rising fuel costs. And the problem with that is all else being equal if you have less contact with your customers it's going to hit your income stream at some point. The good news is it doesn't have to be that way. There's a lot of really simple, affordable tools that allow you to connect with customers in a more personal way. And, and not only those customers that you might have to miss in lieu of getting in the car and driving someplace, but some of these tools like web conferencing and video conferencing will allow you to connect with customers that you previously couldn't afford to connect with. So you might want to take a look at that. Well, thanks for stopping by and checking this out. I do hope you'll come on inside. Before you do, get a cup of coffee, come on in and have a seat.